So we are back. My name is Rook, and this is, I believe, part 16 of my Let's Play Pokemon Yellow series. So if, if you remember last time, we got a uh, we got Charmander, which is a plus, but he immediately lost to something. I forgot what he was fighting against. But that's fine. I mean, it's good that like. Instead of like getting him level like five, you get him to level ten. So he has like some room for improvement. Even though like five to ten is not really that much effort. It is a little bit better than like, you know get him at level whatever, like five it's better than getting him at level ten to level five, I guess. Oh uh, well I guess it really depends on how you look at it. Cause I know that like if your Pokemon is uh weaker like, if you catch a level 2 Pokemon, it'll gain more higher stats than if you catch, like, a level 3 Pokemon. Well, assuming you, you raise them to a certain point. Like, level 2 will be a lot weaker, but if you raise it, you'll, it'll gain more stats than if you had just caught a level... A wild, like, level, whatever, 3 Pokemon or something. Essentially, if you, rain, if you raise it, it gains more stats if you, than if you catch a wild one. Which might be bad for Spear, considering how weak it is. And that, by that theory, if I'd caught a level 4 one, it'd be better, but... Whatever. So, yeah. You should level up soon. Like, how, how much does it... Let's see... Stats... Oh, yeah, he'll level up really soon. Oh, Spear... Should... Take a while. Alright, well... Since I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna raise up Ospear a bit because there's a part later on where I need like a flyingish or psychic Pokemon, and normally I would just catch an Abra, you know, because love Abra, like of the first gen, like I love all the ones that can evolve to three, like a third form. So Abra would be like a really nice Pokemon to catch, but it might take like the problem with Abra is it takes a while for it to get good. But, like, it would be nice to... It, so, it would be nice to have an Abra. The problem is that I don't have any way of getting a, Kadab a Kadabra. I mean, sorry, not a Kadabra. I can get a Kadabra. I have no way of getting an Alakazam. Don't die. Oh. Wimp. Yes. I just keep remembering that my Charmander is weak. And not just weak, incredibly weak. <sighs> Gotta improve on the power leveling. It's also like, you know, I come here, I'm like, oh, you know, I can find main keys in here. And I'm hoping to find a main key for, uh, you know, O-Spear because it's flying, but it's like, alright, well, I'm not gonna find a main key now, am I? And right as I said that, I found a main key. That's just the way my life goes. If I use, so, that's how I find my life to be. It's like, oh, you know, we'll never find something. And then we, that's like the, always that time where you immediately find it. So by that theory, if I keep saying, well, ne I'll never, I'll just, it's going to pass out before I level it up. So if I, if I keep saying, I'll never find a main key, I will immediately find a main key. So right now, Uspear is just too weak. Yeah, just too weak to do any sort of good. In theory, I should have used it against the bug catcher, but oh well. Stand true. O Spear is not going to be able to take it out, so let's just switch it out with someone else. Uh, I really wish their stats were a little better, but. Yeah, I mean, that guy was pretty accurate with, with the Charmander. He's like, oh, I'm terrible at training. Yeah, no, clearly. Your Charmander your sucks. So let's see, former Pokemon should, Pokemon should level up O-Spear, and by that theory, I should be able to take on a Minky easily, assuming it's the same level as me. Oh wow, level 10. So right now, of course, that one would be a lot stronger than mine, because mine has not gained any sort of stats, but oh well. So yeah, if you see the... Uh, as you're watching, you're probably going to hear, oh, you know, wow, this guy talks a lot about Achievement Hunter and, like, Game Grumps and stuff, and 
Probably true. Oh, good. Oh, spear leveled up a little bit earlier. Learned Leer. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, this format is sort of based off of the game Grumps format. It's just I don't have, you know, another person to talk to. Because I'm not really, like, good at managing this stuff. In theory, I probably could get another person, but probably isn't going to happen for a while. Yeah, I'll probably just do this by myself for a bit. I mean, so, I mean, ideally, like, one of the things I really want to do, it would be really fun to, like, to have a video, do a video with, like, the Game Grumps or, like, Achievement Hunter. But that's, like, you know, that's not going to happen this year. That's not, uh, that's probably, like, a 2020 goal or something. At this point, I have... I think I don't even have double digits yet for, like, views and stuff, so it's like, alright, well, that'll be something in the future. We can talk about that over, like, in a couple years from now, and there's no way it's gonna happen immediately. I do know that they, uh... I mean, it seems like it'd be really fun to hang out with them, even though they do some pretty crazy stuff. In which case, I guess there are also other people who do even crazier stuff, but... Oh, well. So I'm going to go back, because Charizard is not getting any stronger at this point. Uh, well, Charmander. Blaster. Blaster, that's what it was. I named it Blaster. I like, named it Blaster, just imagine, like, eventually when he gets a Charizard, and it was like Fire Blaster, so I'm like, hey, Bla Blaster, blast him. <laughs> that would just be the way it goes. Blast! Blaster blast! Blast them away! That would be fun. And that would also never happen. Uh, it's really. Str uh, I don't get the. Uh... Again, this game has some really, really strange, like, just immediately color shifts. And I'm not sure why. It would be nice to know, but I also, I guess, don't really care that enough. Keep running into level five, ten Pokemon with Blaster. Defense fell. That's fine. As long as it doesn't attack me. Oh, it's attacking me. Which is not fine. Based on this, th I should be able to defeat it, right? As long as it doesn't get a critical hit. Yay! No critical hit. That's good. And hopefully this up oh, two. Two away, I think. Jeez. So close. Oh, well. And now, of course, that's also the key time to point out that it's like, alright, well, now nothing shows up for a bit. But, like, the thing about random encounters that sucks is, like, it's pretty random. So you can get, like, there are times where I'm playing Pokemon and I'm like, okay, well, I'm getting a Pokemon, like, I'm running into a Pokemon every other step. And then there are times where it's like, alright, it's been a couple minutes. What's going on? I haven't seen a Pokemon in the, the last three minutes, you know? It's also nice that it's like, they don't go into the cities. Even though in like, the show they totally would. Like, if you ever actually like watch the show, there are, always, there are some episodes where it's like, we have a disaster, what's going on? This thing came into this, this certain Pokemon came into the city, and now we don't know what to do with it. Or this city has a, an issue with this Pokemon. And it's like, really? There's enough Pokemon for it to cause a problem? But I guess. Oh, well, who knows how this works. Uh, no, don't use low kick. No, don't. Oh, Spirit, beat it up. Come on. Your peck is not as effective as I would like it to be. Go, Emperor. At this point, I'm just gonna... Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, Spear is a lost cause. Maybe. Oh, Spear getting 30 XP, getting 30 XP. Well, I'm just not gonna have O Spear help out. Get Char Fo I'll just focus on Charmander. Yeah, just focus on one. And then deal with the other one later. Which is generally how things should, like, work out. You focus on one thing and leave. you deal with the other stuff late when it comes to it, but... And also how you beat, like, two people. Like, if you're fighting two-on-one, 
you either have to like balance it out somehow, or you completely annihilate one to focus on the other. Like, I was watching like some uh, guy play uh, Kingdom Hearts earlier. He was he was playing a he was doing a ranking video for like how hard each boss is for him. And you know, it was Kingdom Hearts two, and there are some that were pretty like obvious. Like the number the uh, hardest bosses are pretty. Uh, it's always pretty, uh, pretty clear and in agreement as to who is the hardest boss in Kingdom Hearts 2. But, like, some of the other bosses, like, he, I guess, did a bunch of the cup fights, which I never did. Because I never actually did any, I wasn't really good at the synthesis part. I really just played it for the story, and I always played it on the easiest mode, because I'm like, it gives me a sense of accomplish, accomplishment, even though I'm not that good at video games, because I'm not actually that great at video, playing video games. So it's like, all right, well, he's like, yeah, you know, these people are doing, eh, you can easily just, like, just keep blocking or something, and then you can easily defeat them. And he was like, he was saying that, like, a lot of the fights, I guess, are, like, two Final Fantasy characters against you. And he was saying that, like, to fight them, all you really have to do is defeat one. It doesn't really matter which one. And then you can pretty much defeat the other person at your leisure, essentially. So, I don't know. Just something to think about. Yeah, Blaster is I'm not really how much more Oh, I should level up next then. They should level it up. Da 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 tail whip, but it failed. Horn attack. Da 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 What do you get? When I get a Bulbas, uh, not Bulbasaur, Squirtle, I'll probably have to, uh, I'll probably turn it in the Diglett Cave. It's like one of those like places where I, whenever I play, I always spend like a long time there, just to train up like any sort of grass or water Pokemon I want. But like, there's always like an issue I had with that, and that's always like that one time that the Dug Trio comes out. Cause like it's always like all right, well this came out and it squashed me. You know, it's always like shoot, or it's like you beat it up and it's like, well that took forever and now my Pokemon are all like almost dead. So I'm hoping I, but I'm always at like the uh, end part of uh like near the end of like the Diglett Cave. To, so to get out, it's like I have to go through the whole thing and pray that I don't run into another Dug Trio, which is always like an issue. Well, that also means that I don't carry enough potions, which is generally true, because I don't really don't buy any of the potions. Yeah, probably should get to some of those eventually. But I'm always like, why would I buy any of these potions? Because it's like, especially like early game, I'm not sure why would I, I'm not like into buying the potions, because it's like, alright, well, it heals 20, which is only really useful after battle. So in, during battle, I'm not going to be able to really do anything, and I could always just run back to the Pokemon Center. You know. And that's always a free heal wherever you go, but later on, I guess it's not like as easy to heal. Because I'm always like, especially with like the problem with like the newer, I mean the uh, old games, is that you only get a limited number amount of space in your backpack, which makes sense. But it's also like, all right, well, that means I got to pick and choose what I can hold, and a lot of so a lot of the TMs and up going into like the storage but what was stupid to, for me that I thought felt was really stupid was that your PC space you only have a limited amount of that as well so it's not like you can throw everything in there so it's always like alright well gotta throw this into the PC gotta throw that in the PC like throw all the, I throw eventually threw all the HMs like I used it like I would use them once and then I throw them all into like the PC and then use like throw all the TMs in there because they don't have like names on them, so I need to figure out what the TMs are as well. And then like, uh, let's see how much until this levels up. The episodes are almost over, but but it was always a pain because like, all right, well, I'm just gonna heal. You know, this is a pro. Like, th th there's always like the problem with space. Granted, you can carry 99 of any item you want, but you can only carry so many of them. So whenever you get, like, that one item, they, they, they give you, like, random useless, like, healing items. I'm almost like, why would I ever get, like, 
these weak ones when I can always just buy this one, like the hyper potions near the end, I guess, is what I got. And it heals 200 HP. Why would I ever buy this, you know, not as good super potion? Because it seems like a waste of money, but when well, if you look at the Pokemon, like my Pokemon right now, like every Pokemon has less than 50 HP, then it's like, all right, well, I can see how, well, I mean, I guess that's not these two, but like, I can see how it's useful for this, for Gara, Blaster, and Ospear. But Ospear and Blaster, you can pretty much get away with just using, uh, you can get away with just using like a regular potion as well. So yeah, this is going to probably be the end of this episode. I will go back and train Bla uh, Blaster more, and after that I'll get Os I want to get Ospear up to at least double digits, or well near twenty. So yeah, that's the end of this episode. Bye.